One of my greatest pleasures nowadays is walking down to the paper shop in the village and picking up a Saturday morning newspaper. The shop's wonderful. It seems to sell everything that anyone would ever need. It's a lovely walk down and most of it's on little used country lanes and public footpaths. But as I approach the paper shop, there's about 300 yards of busy road. And being an agricultural area, there's often lots of huge agricultural contractors, tractors and trailers flying up and down the road. They seem to be so dangerous and fast. Me and the other half, we often say how much nicer that walk would be without those huge tractors and trailers. I met an old friend when I went down to the paper shop to get my paper this Saturday. He was buying a meat pie. He looked at me and said, I know you, it's John, isn't it? I said, yes, and you're Jeff. I knew you when you worked on Chilswell Farm and helped us with the silage making one year. That must have been 20 years ago. Yes, and you had that Rover 3.5. And after work, we'd all pile in your car and find somewhere to drink lots of lager and pub food. No worries about waistline in those days. That's right, said Jeff. That old rover didn't have to get through some tyres. The wheels were out of alignment, you know. You remember, and at the roundabouts, just go around and, and squeal like the American police cars in the film. It sounded great. A real ego trip. I was always getting half-worn tyres from around your farm to put on that car. It didn't matter though, it was so great to hear that noise. I said, anyway, what are you up to now? Oh, I'm just getting a bit of lunch, you know. Get, I often pop in here to get a meat pie. I'm an agricultural contractor. You ought to see the tractor I've got now. Come on, it's just around the corner. Come and have a ride in it. It's 200 horsepowers, and you get about 45 mile an hour from it. Not like those old tractors we had where you were pushed to get 20 mile an hour out of those. Oh, crikey, before I knew what happened, I was up in the cab, and Jeff was bombing down the road at 45 mile an hour in a 30 mile an hour limit. It was exhilarating, and we were king of the road. Anyway, when I finally got home, with my paper, the other half said to me, I happened to be down the village earlier, and I saw one of those horrible, huge contractor's tractors tanking along the road, and the driver was yak, yak, yak onto someone else in the cab who looked suspiciously like you. I said, Oops. <laughs> <laughs>